One of the interesting things about the progress India and Pakistan have made in the last six months is that despite Pakistan going through a very complicated internal um, you know, political dynamics, nevertheless on trade, on some other difficult issues, uh, the bilateral relationship with India has moved forward. So I think that's something which uh, is really quite heartening. Uh, in India, there is one element of uncertainty, which is that when Pakistan slips into election mode, and particularly depending on what kind of outcome you get in the elections, how would the new government uh, uh, relate to India bilaterally? We we know uh, where the PPP as a party and the coalition stands uh, in favor of good relations. Uh, Mia Nawaz Sharif is also a known entity. Uh, but the introduction of uh, Mr. Imran Khan as a new element uh, in the political dynamics, I think, is something which uh, has a lot of uh, has generated a lot of interest in India uh, he's something of an unknown quantity uh, would he stand for uh, the same degree of uh, or the, the, would he would he share the same commitment that uh, mr. Gilani and mr. Zardari have, have have shown for the improvement of bilateral relations or would things slow down uh, some of the platforms that he has embraced um, nationalist positions on, on, on drone strikes on, on America would seem to suggest that uh, on India he may not take uh, as open a position as the PPP led government has. But I think this is one question which uh, many observers in India uh, would have as we move ahead.